okay, when you come into my room, this is what you see, this um, big double bed in the middle of the floor. On this set of drawers, I keep these two Beatles books. This one um, was the remastered White Album, which is my favourite one. And this other Beatles book that I got as a gift from my stepdad when he was in a charity shop, I think. He found this book. I think he got it for like £5 and it's like £30. It says £29.99 there, so it is worth a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Just end this video here. That's a room tour over. Bye. We had it. A technical in fact we had a fire hazard but anyway okay moving on and then I've got this 60s fashion and um, modern hippies book and then I got this little plant it's a little fake one obviously I'm not just flinging about a real plant but and that was six pound out of next which I don't know I think it's expensive but anyway so over here I have this acoustic guitar that I will learn. My dad got me it during lockdown um, and I said I was going to practice but literally I learned like two of the easiest chords and haven't stopped playing them and that's it, that's as far as I'm going. <laughs> so I'm going to move from here all the way around. Yeah, up here I have a Beatles poster. Here come the Beatles. I was gifted this by a friend along with another poster over there which was really nice. And above my bed I have a poster. It is like the official poster that comes with this book here. And then I just have my bed, I just have these little show cushions as well on it. So over here I decided, I don't know why, I decided on a whim to kind of put records on my wall in kind of sections. I did the exact same over here. It was just by chance I was making a YouTube video and I decided that these three records um, in the background actually look really, really nice. So I wanted to keep them up instead of doing this wall art that I was doing down here and it kind of became the same situation over here. I was quite precise about the spacing and everything, but yeah. I've got Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, The Beatles, Thin Lizzy, Jefferson Starship, Men at Work, ELO, and Led Zeppelin on this wall. I've got these fairy lights running all the way around my room, except they stop right above here and it's kind of annoying. Okay, so up here, I've got some of my favorite quotes from books and songs and some Polaroids of me and Kai and a Polaroid of my mum <laughs> holding a hedgehog when she was a nurse and she had found a little hedgehog at the back and she had wrapped it up in some towels and got a picture. I've got this like little third eye as well, um, a big quote from the Eagles, that's from a Bob Dylan song, that's Led Zeppelin, that's Jim Morrison, just things like that. And then over here I decided to do like a, a kind of psychedelic drawing. So this is all by coloured pen um, that I've still to kind of finish off here. I decided to do a kind of third eye as well um, with some roots coming out of it. I thought that was like a good kind of symbolism. And then just below it I have a little card with the seven main chakras on it. Spirituality is definitely an interest of mine. I absolutely adore this card that my cousin got for me one birthday and it says be a unicorn in a field of horses. She had said in the card that um, she thought it summed me up in a winner. So. Okay this is where I spend most of my time at my desk with a bottle of wine. <laughs> I keep all my books that I use for uni here. I use this one for writing my own articles. I have these for different modules that I'm doing and I have this for like tasks. And this is a big planner book that has all my dates and appointments etc in it. Over here I kind of keep my skincare at hand. When I come out of the shower it's like the first thing I do and I'm always like sitting here drying my hair so it's nice to just reach for them. I also have this little container. I highly recommend getting this if you need to take vitamins every day like I do. Here I keep my makeup brushes. These are my big ones I just keep in a normal glass. This one here is in this cute like hot chocolate glass that says all you need is love. And you know that Beatles song, all you need is love. So And here I keep all my pens. These are coloured ones with some scissors and these are just like ballpoint. So as you can see this desk is like quite big and it's got a little drawer here with a key. I keep paints in here, I keep 
kind of craft stuff like glue, pins, staples. And then over to this drawer. In here I keep cables, I keep chargers, plugs, little things like that. Okay, so this is my window area here and my flatmate inspired me to get more actual plants. It's a peace lily and it's so beautiful. Over here I have maybe m just more than half of my books. I kind of put my classics down in the living room. I think it just makes it look more homely. Here I just have a bunch of random books. I have um, a thesaurus I've had since I was 10. Little diaries and journals that um, I like to write in almost daily. And right, don't laugh at these. These DVDs just appeared. <laughs> and then I just have a few um, uni books and some music books. I've got um, Led Zeppelin, Trampled Underfoot, Debbie Harry, Patty Boyd, um, Pamela DeBar, and Eric Clapton. Okay, out of here I have a Pink Floyd poster, which was given to me by a friend, the same as the Beatles one over there. Actually, the Four Horsemen and the Apocalypse on the wall. <laughs> Um, that also came with the white album book as well as that big poster there. Okay, so over here, um, I got given this to me by Kai, which is so cute. I got this um, candle out of Next as well. Okay, I have this basket which I keep my essentials, like, I don't know, my purse and things that I just grab. And it's got a little tambourine in there as well from when I dressed up as Stevie Nicks <laughs> at Halloween. And then I have my record player, which is usually down in the living room. It does look really good in there and that's kind of its main spot the now, but I really wanted to listen to some new records that I got, which were Simon and Grafung ones. Yeah, I put this little scarf that I got from a charity shop over because I think the colours are beautiful on it. I bought some Led Zeppelin merch, so I just kept the tag. It's a little Polaroid of me during lockdown in a field. <laughs> and then here I just keep like a little candle holder. I put my tea lights in this sometimes and some perfumes. Over here I have basically put all of my work that I've done for newspapers. The first one I ever did was this one here. These two I did for the Alwa advertiser and this one and this one down here I did for the Isle of Butte News. Down here I've just got these um, two Simon and Ingrid Funko records here just now. The rest of them are down in the living room. I keep other kind of musical things in here, speakers, um, a set of headphones and these are all rock, classic rock magazines. Most of them have like clippings I've cut out in them to put on the wall over there. Up here I have two singles, um, one is an Eagles one and one is produced by Stephen Lindsay from the Mission Bell to the Deep Blue Sea. I have no idea what this is so if anyone knows please enlighten me. And then I have my good good friend my keyboard really does keep me sane. I mean, I've grown up having a piano in my house all like all through my life. That's how I learned. Um, I was self-taught. My mum sent me this at a time I was feeling dead uninspired. I was like, oh, I'm missing something, and I was clearly missing this. I'm gonna go into the bathroom last of all, and I'm gonna just skip over to this part of my room. Here is a nice framed picture of Abbey Road that um, my stepdad got for me when he was in Inverness. And then on this wall I decided to have like all my signed things. This is from a band called JCM who a lot of them, maybe if not all of them, <laughs> played with Cream. My mum and stepdad actually went to see them in Milton Keynes and got this signed for me so I've got that record which is really really nice. And then this one here is from Paul Rogers' son who I went to see back home in Butte and honestly he was incredible. If you don't know Paul Rogers, honestly, you should look him up. He was the lead singer of Bad Company, Free, and he also sang with Queen as well. So I went and seen his son and he said I had a lovely name, which is really nice. This is my ticket for Mark Knopfler because it was such a big moment for me to go and see him because I've been trying for actual years. Okay, over here I have this little gift that my sister got me um, during lockdown, which is like a little hug because we couldn't hug each other, so there's that. And then, <laughs> this actually makes me laugh. I had it sitting over here on top of those books where the other plant is, but it's a hanging plant, but it just confused me because it's so cylindrical um, that it would just like jut out a bit and not sit properly, but it's 
doing pretty good here. Um, and finally we're over here. So these are all magazine clippings um, that I did myself. I took little quotes, etc. And yeah, just cut them all out and kind of made a collage of all these bands. <laughs> That makes me laugh so much. But anyway. Okay, so here I have some Dire Straits, Eagles, Led Zeppelin, Beatles, more Led Zeppelin, more Beatles, more Led Zeppelin, and a Pink Floyd one as well. Okay, now we're here. I have this little warmer that, you know, Elsa spilt because why not? I knocked this over. I left it there because I was like, you know, art, accidental art. <laughs> over here, this is another plant that came with the other plants the little pack I got this is a ouch this is a little Buddha um for good luck that my mum had and actually gonna tell a cute story that you know my mum gave this to me for good luck and everything but I can't even say that because I took it <laughs> basically I stole this Buddha off my mum and then she was like okay and then another little candle that I got out of savers as well this little lamp was from Tesco's. It wasn't that expensive, as you can tell, it's kind of blah, 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 and floats about, but it's done me well and it looks good. So this drawer set, these are from somewhere back home in Butte. On to an exciting part. Okay, so this is my wardrobe. <laughs> start at the top so I have a box of Lego up here from lockdown <laughs> and if anyone wants to buy it on me please do because I'm kind of over it and then here I have this really lovely like geometric picnic blanket that um, Kai got for me I love this pattern so so much up here I keep all my handbags as well I kind of need more but I have this really cool Marl Monroe one these were all in thrift hauls okay so I have this like long mirror here which is actually really handy except when you look in it <laughs> it makes you like maybe three times wider than you actually are so it's not good for your confidence so that's why you know I can shut the door at night and be like bye so yeah these are all my jackets and all my dresses slash rompers blouses in here and on this one I keep my belts and scarves then down here I have all my shoes my trainers are kind of at the back, ankle bits are at the front, those platforms. And then all my knee high and thigh high kind of longer bits are here. These ones, um, I never got to put in a haul yet, but they are honestly stunning. <laughs> so this is my ensuite bathroom and this is Beatles poster that I put up. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna talk about this um, wall here. So there's clearly some damage to the actual inside wall that I think is actually coming from the roof. Um, somebody's coming in to fix it. It's quite bad, like if I touched that, it would crack. But in here, this is my toilet. Um, over here, I've got a candle that I got from Savers as well. And this was the other plant that was in the pack of three. And this little quote cube thing that's not even a cube just for positive vibes and a little air freshener so over here just some stuff for brushing my teeth hand wash I keep I actually keep the lint juice up here because I get such a thirst during the night and it just makes sense to come in here and use the water from the tap here than to go all the way downstairs to the kitchen to get a drink so um, this little basket here I keep, well it's kind of stained for my tan because I did keep my tan and stuff in here which is kind of stupid because it's, you know, obviously going to stain it. But I keep like wipes, um, I've got washing up liquid because I have glasses in that cupboard down there that um, I just use if I need a drink so I use washing up liquid if I'm washing them. Um, and yeah, this is all my cleaning stuff here, refills for the air freshener, etc. This is all my hair stuff I keep in here, hair dryer, curlers, straighteners, hairbrush and a little basket over here. And then finally this is my shower, it's got a nice little spotlight in it and that's just my shower stuff they are so yeah and um this little bath mat as well i've got some towels because kai just showered and went to work there so over here i've got these mirrors here which i tend to use more often than the one that's actually over here because i'm five foot and i can't see into it so and then i got this really nice attic window that would look so much better if i could get this 
fixed as soon as possible. So yeah, that's my ensuite bathroom. And then we come back out from here into my room. Mm -hmm.